Welcome back. Since 1997, Discovery for Men has held quarterly rallies every year in Lagos and other places like Enugu, Calabar, Eket, Uyu, and Abelkuta. In an atmosphere of fellowship and camaraderie, which the rallies engender, the platform has ministered to over 50,000 men all over this vast nation. So, what do they have up their sleeves this year? We have in the studio um, the director, Discovery for Men, Pastor Olakunle Shurinya. Thank you so much for being here. We also have the events master of ceremonies. He is um, a member of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Honorable Desmond Elliott. Thank you. Good to have you. And the vision, oh, the legal vision alignment. Commissioner for Legal Vision Alignment, Discovery for Men, Barrister Taiwo Akilabi. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for being here. Okay, let me start with uh, the director. So, what's up this year? Well, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, part of what we have understood very clearly is that all of what we don't like in society and all of what we like are managed and created by yesterday's children. Who have now become the adults of today those kids find their strength or their weakness in the kind of father that offered them a parenting curriculum the crisis of the nation therefore is the crisis of the family and there is no way we can continue to engender nation building ideas without considering seriously the kind of efforts we can make from the family unit especially as it concerns the man so what we are trying to do is to begin to sow seeds of responsibility, clear thinking, visionary commitment in men. And Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, who is the president of Discovery for Men and the senior pastor of the Founding of Life Church, in 1997, caught a vision about how men can begin to get new pictures and accept responsibility for how society must grow. And he had called in a few men to share the vision and since then, quarterly, we've moved from different environments, state to state, running uh, these conferences. And November 6th, that is this Sunday, 4 o'clock, live at the Founding of Life Church Auditorium, we are going to be running another Discovery for Men rally. It's arguably, and what people say, the largest gathering of men in the nation. And we're going to be putting thousands of men, fathers, young voices in business, in politics, you know, um, um, young students, and men of all levels, right, are going to come into that environment to receive fresh instructions and um, exchange, you know, learn and grow, find new options in society. They want to embrace as a matter of supreme importance. No, no, that no, is no, the goal of Discovery Pastor, for Men. you said um, to sow the seed of one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, if, for instance, he turns up, don't you think it's too late to be sowing a seed in him? He's a grown man already. His ways are formed already. Don't you think you should be sowing the seeds when they're still young? Yes. So we are... they grow with that seed and it blooms as they get older. Awesome thought. So we're doing that. But part of how it works is that seeds have, I think that's one of the most useless seeds in the world, have a lifespan of 50 years. You have seeds with 500 years lifespan. You see a seed on the ground, you think it is nothing. It, nothing. The day it finds water and air, it begins to blossom, and you wonder, whoa, was that a seed? So the idea is the guardians of tomorrow are also the adults of today, in that they offer some type of influence and direction for those coming after. So when we give clarity to full-blown adults, we are empowering tomorrow, because they are the ones that are the custodians of the system today who are going to offer example, modeling, and direction and influence to those who are observing them, kids coming after. So whichever way, whether from the back or from the front, the seeds have been sown and they remain potent and relevant. Hmm. Marista Akinlami, um, if we look around today, <coughs> you find a lot of not so pleasant stories about men and the kind of things that some of them do. You find fathers abusing their daughters. And if we have had this kind of discussions in the past and then we still see this kind of things, so what impact? you think you know this is having on the on the nation or the men well what I, I will start by saying that change does not take place in one day um, change is a continuous effort that we have to continue to make because um, uh, change is an ever-present possibility for anybody who's ready to take responsibility so no matter how much people we have reached 
we still have to continue. Now, the fact that if we look at the way things are, we don't ask the question, what would have happened if, if, if efforts were not made? It is the efforts that have been made that have made things to be the way they are now. And as we continue to make those efforts, they can only get better. So we've seen tangibly, you know, the, the result of this kind of work is the life of men that are transformed. You know, I, I started attending Discovery for Men in 1997. And then I was clueless. I didn't know what to do. I didn't understand a vision for my life. I was not even living. Uh, uh, and as I began to expose, as I began to be exposed to that ministry, to that, um, to the teachings in that place, today I'm a changed person. Uh, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. I've witnessed a tremendous transformation between then and now. So I'm a living testimony to the fact that the principles being taught there were real. You know, time will fail me to talk to you about the kind of life I have lived before. Uh, if I were dead, it would have been fair. If I were in jail, it would have been fair, like Mr. Lakunishon would say. You were that naughty. Yeah, right? yes, I was. If Ooh. I had, if I were, if I were in the psychiatric hospital, it would have been, it would have been fair. But, but somehow, somehow, I came in contact with this ministry in 1997 and I began to listen to, to, to the words and I began to be groomed in that place and today the story is different. I'm happily married, I'm running my own organization, we work with, within the country and outside the country, we have pointers that are beyond this country and um, that is, there's no way you can write the story of my life without linking it to the discovery for men and that is 